How are you? I hope that all of you are fine. Thank you very much. Welcome you all to my presentation. So dear student, in first slide you can see my identity. I am Muhammad Ismail Hussain, Assistant Teacher, Government Jubilee High School, Shunam Ganj. Today I have brought this class for the students of class 9 and 10. This will be also useful for the students of 11 and 12 as well. Okay dear student, our today's topic is suffix and prefix. Suffix and prefix. I think that all of you are known to this term. However, today uh, I will try to make clear the ins and outs of suffix and prefix with a brief discussion. However, dear student, let's see what we will we'll learn after this lesson. After completing this lesson, we hope that we will be able to identify the and uh, identify the definition of suffix and prefix and we will be able to use uh, able to produce new word using suffix and prefix okay differ suffix and prefix differ between suffix and prefix use suffix and prefix in sentence okay dear students let's see either we can achieve our learning outcomes you know that in English, there are eight kinds of parts of speech. How many kinds of parts of speech are there in English? Eight kinds of parts of speech. Okay. Among them, noun, adjective, verb, and adverb. These four are called keywords. These four are called keywords. You know. And these are also basic words. But uh, pronoun, preposition, conjunction, and interjection are called subsidiary words. Shadanto English the art procure parts of speech ache shekane noun pronoun and sorry noun adjective verb adverb eight in the kebola high keywords among pronoun preposition conjunction or interjection kebola high subsidiary words. Okay. Subsidiary word gulu puriborton jugunoi the subsidiary words are not changeable okay uh, but the keywords or base words are changeable you uh, using suffix or prefix and you know that subsidiary and base words are noun adjective verb and adverb okay and these are changeable uh, and the, this changing process are called affix what does it call affix you know that affix mean connecting something adding something okay in this way so affix shabd er hotol kono kichu jure dewa ebong juk kora affix ke dui shrinite bhag kora jay suffix and prefix okay affix are divided into two class they are suffix and prefix the most common suffix and prefix in you uh, uh, used in english are able ebol or al ans be these e e r full by, I am, I see, ill, in, im, ir, ing, ish, li, meant, ness, aus, pre, uh, s, yes, ship, shion, shon, ion, an, or y and e. Okay? The student, I think that many of you have seen the now in the beginning of the sentence on in im etc such words such um, letters but in the end of the sentence you may also find some li y e okay dear students now i have brought a uh, passage for you you have to use suffix and prefix the some words okay uh, complete the text adding suffix and prefix uh, or the both with the root words given in the parenthesis. Let's see first and read first the passage. Smoking is a dangerous bad habit. It is a harm, it is harm to health. It is also cost. A smoke should not smoke public. 
Smoking creates pollute. Sometimes smoking causes many curable diseases. It causes comfort to other. It causes irritation in the eyes and settle the mind. But there are many people who are dash uh, who are aware at the bad effects of smoking. Dear student, when we read this text, we find many um, many problems here. It does not uh, make it doesn't go very clearly, easily, and simply, fluently or smoothly, isn't it? That's why we should change some of these words to make the passage meaningful. Okay, so what will be used? Suppose, and the first word will be smoking is danger, dangerous, isn't it? Smoking is dangerous habit. O U S will be added. It is harm. That's been harmful to health. It also cost costly, isn't it? Smoke should not smoke. Smoker R will be added with, the, with smoke. Okay. Smoker should not smoke public, publicly, publicly. Okay. Smoking creates pollute. That's mean pollution, not pollute. There will be pollution. Smoking causes many curable diseases. Many incurable diseases. Okay. In will be added with curable. It causes comfort. It causes comfort to others, not comfort. Uncomfort to others. Okay. It causes uncomfort to others. It causes irritation in the eyes and um, unsettle the mind. Unsettle the mind. Okay. But there are many people who are unaware at the bed. Aware, uh, instead of aware, there will be unaware at the bad effects of smoking. Okay, the students. Now. In the picture, you can see a man. The man is, the man looks happy. Yes, he is smiling. So the man looks happy. Isn't it? But this man looks unhappy. Isn't it? This man looks unhappy. Mm. <laughs> However, so happy is the root word. That means shuki. But base word or root word. But unhappy, un is a prefix because pre means before okay so uh, it fixed uh, the pre of the happy that's why it's called prefix unhappy uh, so this is unhappy and this is prefix okay now happily sometimes we may say uh, we may say happily okay uh, he speaks happily. He looks happily. Um, he lives his life happily. Oh, in this way. So, I L Y. What is this? This is suffix. Suffix because this come after the basic word. Okay. So, follow carefully. Able. Able the basic word. Then an is used before the before it. This means prefix an is added with um, able. Then it's called it become unable. Okay, Ad added before, but uh, and as this added before this called prefix. Then uh, able plus i t y ability ability. Okay, ability ability means uh, okay ability. And it's uh, added before, uh, it's added after the basic words, is it? So it's called suffix, it's called suffix. The, le and the letters used after the basic word is called suffix, okay. Letter or letters added before any words and changes its meaning is called prefix. Some word, uh, letter or letters used before the um, basic word and changes its meaning okay because we know that able is ability but unable 
unability, they are different, opposite word, isn't it? But here, letter or letters added after any words and changes its form is called suffix, ability. Okay? It just changes its forms. Okay? The process is changes. What is the difference between suffix and prefix? Difference. What's the difference? Yes, suffix are added before a word and it changes its meaning. But prefix, uh, prefix is added before a word and changes its meaning. But suffix is added after a word and changes its form. Basic uh, difference between this. Suppose, example of uh, some prefix are an, in, im, n, etc. And then, examples of some suffix is shun. It, li, ness, meant, etc. Okay. Uh, note prefix is added directly before the word. Prefix is used directly before the word. Not carefully. But uh, suffix, if the last letter of the word is e, t, it, is omitted while adding suffix. You will notice it. Okay. These are the basic difference between suffix and prefix okay the student he has no able to buy a car now we will use suffix or prefix with the word in the bracket so he has no ability he has no ability to buy the car ability able and e has been omitted i t y added isn't it yes then let's see in our um, picture here mother teresa was rewarded for her human and uh, we have to use suffix or prefix what will be the how the uh, sentence can be finished successfully mother teresa was rewarded for her humanity for her humanity i t y okay has been used in this case no changes come. Thank you, dear students. However, you can see a picture. A man is taking his exercise and it's very exceptional. The perfect of his performance is really under. What will be the uh, successful sentence? How will be the how will be how will it change the sentence the words? Yes, the the perfection of his performance perfect then t i o n perfection i o n is the suffix here perfection of his performance is really wonderful very really wonderful there this student let's see to babies or to children here our parents always and Courage us to put on this dress. Okay, they are wearing, are wearing nice dress. So their parents encourage, encourage them because it's right, uh, it's bad. Their parents always encourage. Our so, you know, in this slide, what can we see? Right. What beautiful perform the, he displayed. What a beautiful perform he displayed. So, dear student, what will be the perform? It will be performance, isn't it? It will be performance. A N C E. A N C E is added with perform. So this is the suffix. Suffix A N C E had been used here. What a beautiful perform he displayed. Okay, dear students, now we have got a passes and we are going to compare it using suffix and prefix. Some basic words have been given in the parenthesis, okay? We have to use the suffix and prefix that we need. Okay, complete the, complete the text adding suffix and prefix, uh, the both or the both with the root words given in the parenthesis. 
in the past people did not have developed communicate facilities what will be there communication facilities uh, communicate will be communication okay first of all we read the text then we will uh, try to answer them in the past people did not have developed communicate facilities they use used to make mob short distance place dash for on on foot sorry they uh, they used to make mob uh, short distance place um, from uh, on foot every uh, on foot nowadays they go by rickshaw taxi or by other kinds of motor vehicles because as a result they did not undergo physical dash exert which is good for health the ultimate result they have may uh, they have many men in now getting diabetes the suggest is that we should form the habit of walking walking able us to enjoy the beauty of nature it also helps us have physical dash fit but some people are different to walking they have prepared to vehicles so what will be the exact or correct words in the parenthesis think about it how what, uh, so we have to modify the words in such a way so that it makes a good meaning so that the passage will be a meaningful one now as the words are given here uh, it does not they don't make a good good meaning so let's see what can be the right uh, suffix or prefix there we we'll use suffix or prefix or both in the past people did not have uh, developed uh, communicators which will be their communication facilities isn't it communication facilities you may check your answer and match it with the answer sheet here nowadays they go by rickshaw taxi or by other other uh, motor motorized okay they uh, okay uh, they help uh, they used to make sakif bad dilo eta in the past people did not have developed communication facilities they used to make dash mob movement to short distance play, place on foot nowadays they go by rickshaw taxi or by other kinds of motorized 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 vehicle okay as a result they don't undergo physical exertion exert exert was there that will be exertion which is good for health the ultimate result is that many a man is now getting diabetes the dash suggest the suggestion the suggestion is that we should form the habit of walking walking enable us able it will be turned into enable us to enjoy the beauty of nature joy will be turned into enjoy okay enjoy the beauty of nature it also help us physically physical fitness it also help us to have physical fitness but some people are indifferent to indifferent to walking they have preference they have preference in vehicles how about the students now i am going to show you some words how they turn into new words how a suffix a prefix make 
how, how uh, some suffix can change the form of words okay suppose suffix e r l y n n e double s ness here here uh, when we add e r with play it turns into player okay play is a bar but it turns into uh, noun e r player teach teacher okay quick quickly sadly sadly quick quickly sad sadly okay bright brightness weak weakness isn't it okay in this way um, words are turned into di uh, different word different parts of speech when we add suffix now let's see more bar plus er then it turns into common noun work work hard work is a verb but worker is a noun work worker learn learner read reader okay operate operator sail sailor supervise supervisor isn't it er or <coughs> ee as a suffix if we add, uh, add then what uh, what the turn into let's see employ employer employ employee um, pay pair pay pay okay action action act plus ton action isn't it agitate ag agitation complicate complication pollute pollution donate donation okay good goodness ready readiness adjective um, plus ness makes abstract noun good goodness ready readiness forgetful forgetfulness happy happiness weak weakness isn't it okay ble as suffix count countable forgive forgivable read readable wash washable flex flexible and age as a suffix short shortage marriage marriages and accountant assist assistant consonant consult consultant engineer mountainer excitement meant when when suffix uh, meant use as a suffix meant when suffix uh, meant use as suffix excite excitement enjoy enjoyment replace replacement ity as suffix flexible flexibility product turn into productivity scarcity scarcity turn into scarcity and hood as a suffix hood is used as suffix then child childhood boy boyhood mother motherhood sheep as suffix friend friendship uh, bo uh, partner partnership member membership isn't it in this way suffix uh, change the word adjective um, plus all Le leg legal brute brutal nation national education educational delicious adjective delicious de um, furious perseus cautious etc and full when used as suffix forgetful hopeful useful fruitful etc less uh, we can use less as suffix then let's see some example with less unless useless harmless cloudless etc in this way suffix can help us to make new parts of space now however dear student we try to take a uh, we try to make the suffix and prefix uh, easy to you i don't know how much successful I, I am here i will be successful then when you will understand and if you don't um, understand uh, you can go to my youtube channel and comment then i will try to make it more easy in my next class thank you allah is stay